Hello everyone once again welcome back to How to Hack. Today we will discuss about one of the major vulnerabilities of all time that is SQL injection. This is an attack in which attacker injects SQL commands into the database. The attack can cause damage the database or even it can make database to display data which was not intended to display. With an example I will explain it. Here we can see a login page where we enter our username and password. But attacker will inject some SQL commands into this login page if there is not proper validation or sanitization these commands will directly pass to the database. Once these commands reaches the database this commands will get executed. Then after the attacker will be able to see the result of the command he injected. This is another example of SQL injection you can see a login page here. Here after entering the email address as username and SQL command has been added. Now we will discuss about practical session using DVWA. At first we will work with low level security. Here you can see a text field to enter user ID. Once we enter any user ID and search for it. If the user ID exists in database the corresponding user's first name and last name will get displayed. Before exploiting let's check the security measures taken here. You can see here once the user ID is entered. A select statement is searching for first name and last name where it matches with the user ID. The main problem of this code is it's only looking for ID but not filtering the input. Now we are going to enter these code into the user ID field. If you observe carefully we can see the code begins with number 1 then followed by a comma. Here or is a condition. When we add or it means user ID equals 1 or 1 equals 1. This means either one condition should be true. Here 1 is equal to 1. So even though Gordon's user ID is not 1 his name is coming up. And others name 2. Here I am using another code that is or 1 equals 1 hash. Here hash will come and rest of the code part from executing. Now we have to determine how many columns are there in the table. Here order by one command is used to determine how many column are there. Here these command brings you result. And when we try order by two also brings you result which means there are one or two column are there. But when I try order by 3, it didn't return any output, which means there are only two columns. Now we will combine two columns result together by union command. By using union command we can combine result of two or more select statement. Now we can see user function return dvw a username and null returned first name as blank. We can use same method to find database name using database function. Now we found database name is dvwa. SQL injection and medium level security will be discussed in next video. If you like to know more about cybersecurity contents you can subscribe my channel.